All right, so during this video, we are going to build one of our websites together and filling it with millions of pages using our plugin. Okay, so right now you can see I have a blank WordPress blog that I just set up for this video. Now, the first thing you will need to do to set up your website is you will need to register a domain name. So you can use a website like Namecheap.com or even GoDaddy.com or any domain registrar. So all you really have to do if I head back to Namecheap here is just type in the name that you think you want right here. So I can say my awesome domain name and add some numbers in there. Click on search and it's going to come back and it's going to let me know if that domain name is available or not. So we can see it is available in .com, XYZ, club, online, etc. All these are available, so you can choose whichever one you like. I usually go with the cheapest one, which is usually like XYZ or .website or something along those lines. So all you have to do is click on the plus button here and register the domain name. Now, once you have that registered, you will need a hosting account to run WordPress and our plugin. Now, again, you can use something like Bluehost.com or HostGator.com. A lot of those websites, you can get started for one, two, three dollars per month. So you will need to sign up for one of those and install WordPress. If you're not sure how to install WordPress, we have training on that. And whatever host you sign up with, they're going to make it extremely easy. And they're going to have training as well that will show you how to install WordPress with, you know, just one or two clicks. It's really simple nowadays to click a few buttons and install WordPress. And you can actually see right here on Bluehost, they advertise how easy it is to install WordPress on your website. So you get that installed, you have your domain name registered and pointed to your website, and now you need to get your plugin installed. And once you have it installed, you're gonna be looking at a blank dashboard with the SERP Gen Post plugin over here on the left-hand side with no content posted yet. And that's what we're gonna be doing during this video is uploading millions and millions of pages in a matter of seconds. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we are going to click on add new. And this is going to load up our little post editor that we need to configure. And this here, the information that we enter here is going to be responsible for all the millions of pages that we create. Okay, so let's get started with the actual content of the post. Now you need to go ahead and have your keyword prepared. We already have our keyword ready. If you need help choosing a keyword or doing keyword research, we have videos for that as well. So I'm gonna head over here to Google and I'm gonna focus on photography classes. So I'm simply gonna say photography classes near me and we're gonna search that and I'm gonna simply open up one of these links here. So we'll say beginners photography class. We're gonna open this up. And all we're really doing is getting content from this web page to include in our post, okay? So I'm gonna scroll down here and we're just gonna copy this information here. We're gonna copy that. We're gonna head back to our post here and then we're gonna paste it. Next, what we can do here is I'm gonna enter a few times here, jump down, and you're gonna see we have this little button here for the plugin. I can click on this and we can easily add more content to our post. So you can see that we have cities and zip codes around, Google Maps, a random YouTube video, a random image by Google, a weather widget, next post, previous post, random post links, and hide content. So I can do a random video, for example, and all I need to do is enter a keyword. So I can say photography class, let me go ahead and copy that. And when I click on insert, we can see we have this code here for a random YouTube video. We're gonna do that again. We're gonna click on the button and this time let's do an image. So we're gonna say a random image. Our keyword is going to be photography class. We'll add the same alt text, title and caption and we'll make this a 500 by 500 image. Click on insert. And then now we have a random image that's going to be included into our post as well. And we can do the widget and Google Maps and things like that as well if we wanted to. Now, after we have our post content created, the next thing I like to do is add tags. And I like to add between 30 to 50 different tags. And some of the most important ones that we need to add, we can actually click on this little drop down menu. And I like to add a placeholder for the zip, city, county, state, and the state short. So all we have to do is click on it and then click on add just like that. And we do this for each of these and we can even add them together and make a sort of combination if we want to. So we'll do that as well. Let me add this last one here. Then we can do 
city state together and add that as one tag as well. So I like to add between 30 and 50, like I said. And once we have that, scrolling back to the top, we need to do our post title. Now the post title is going to be probably the most important thing for the entire post. Now the plugin generates pages based on the post data that you insert here. So for example, below this, you will see that we have different variables that we can use. So you will see here, we have a county, state, state short, city, and zip. And we can also add our own variables if we wanted to. So for example, if I said photography classes in, and then I copied my state here, photography classes in state. That means the plugin will generate 52 different posts, okay? Because it would generate one for each state that we have. However, if I said photography classes in city, it would generate 30,000 plus posts. And if I said photography classes in zip codes, it would generate 40,000 different posts. And then let's say down here at the bottom, I add my own variable, which we are going to do here in just one second. And I added 500 different values for my variable. And then I included my own variable in the title plus the city that would be 2 million plus different posts that needs to be created, okay? So depending on the combination of variables that you use in your title, that will determine how many posts are going to be created by the plugin. So let's go ahead and add our own variable. I'm gonna click on add new. We're gonna call this class name, since I'm doing photography. And for the variables, let's say beginner, wedding, vacation, professional, business, and travel. And we're gonna click on save. And now what I can do, I wanna copy this. Let's change our title a little bit. I'm gonna say online, class name, photography classes, in, and then we're gonna grab some variables down here. We are going to say city, Then we're going to grab the state short. And then we're going to grab the zip code. So that's a lot of different variables. Okay. So class name, I have one, two, three, four, five, six different class names. So it's going to automatically replace this with my class names. It's going to substitute this for all the different cities, all the different states and all the different zip code. That should be zip codes. Let me fix that here. There we go. Next up, we're gonna scroll down just a little bit here and we are going to do our metadata. So for the title tag, I like to use the same thing as my title here. So we're gonna copy this. We're gonna head down here and we're going to paste it. And same thing for the meta title. And for the meta description, it's usually gonna be almost the same thing. So we're gonna paste that in there. I'm just gonna change it. Get online photography classes in your city, state, or zip starting today. We'll just add it like that right there. And just to give you some more ideas for the tags here, we can simply say photography classes in, and then use these tags as well. Photography classes in zip. And then do the same thing, photography classes in state, photography classes in county, things like that. Once you have all of this information filled out, we're gonna click on publish. And we can see that our post was published. So now if we head back to our website and we refresh it, you can see that we now have all these different posts using the title online beginner photography classes in city, state, and zip code. We have the information that we posted. We have the video, we have the image. And if we scroll through here, you're gonna see each title is different with a different class name, a different city, a different state, and a different zip code. And we scroll to the bottom here, you can see that we have over 25,000 different pages containing about 10 posts per page, okay? So a lot of different content on our website already with just a click of a button. Now, if you ever need to edit any of this information, let's head back to the plugin here. We'll go back to the main dashboard here. All we have to do is click on edit, just like a normal post inside of WordPress, make any of the changes that you need to make here and then click on update.
So now that we have thousands and millions of different posts on our website, it's time to make this look a lot more professional because right now it doesn't look that good with this default WordPress theme that we have. So inside of WordPress, we're going to go to appearance and themes. And from here, we can browse all the different themes by clicking on add new that WordPress has to offer us. So we can go through here and find something that looks good for our website, a bunch of nice, solid designs. If you have a little bit of a budget, you can head over to a website like themeforce.net or something similar and browse all the different WordPress themes that they have. They have a bunch of professional themes themselves. We're going to head back here. And like I said, we can select one of these for free if we wanted to. So you need to find a good looking theme for your website. The next thing that you need to do is go ahead and add your terms of service and your privacy policy to your website. To do so, I like to use a website called freeprivacypolicy.com. It helps you generate a free privacy policy in a matter of just minutes. You can generate that and then copy and paste it onto your website. And then last but not least, I like to create an about us page. So simply click on pages here, go to add new, and we're going to call this about us and we can simply kind of head back to the website that we used previously, click on their about section and we can simply copy all their about us information and just remove any names or links to their website. Copy that over, paste it here in the about us section, click on publish and then your website is going to be ready to get indexed by Google. Make sure you have a nice looking theme. You have an about us page and you have your privacy policy and your terms of service page. Now Google should index your website within one to two weeks. Now after that, so we're talking about three weeks and on, you wanna come back once your website is indexed and start adding ads into your content. Now to do so, once your website is indexed, you're gonna head back here. You are going to go to the ads management tab here and we are going to click on add new. We're gonna give this an ad block name. So we're gonna call this ad one. And then for our code here, all we have to do is paste in our AdSense code, our ClickBank affiliate links, or whatever content you want to promote. All you have to do is copy that information here. So I'm gonna say code. We're gonna click on save changes. And now we have this short code that we need to insert into our post. So we're gonna copy this. We're gonna head back to our post that we created, click on edit. And then wherever we want that content to be advertised, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna paste that code just like that and click on update. And now on those thousands and millions of pages that we created, we're gonna have our affiliate links, our AdSense codes, whatever it is, advertised inside of every single post. And that's all you have to do when it comes to using the SerpGen Post plugin to create millions of pages on a website in a matter of just a few clicks. So be sure to set these websites up. I recommend about 20 different websites per hosting account. Get these all set up in a matter of minutes and then come back in a few weeks and add your affiliate codes.